Hi everyone, Annie Lissers here, and today I am going to review uh, the second to last haul that I did for Goose Creek. SAS just kind of took all my time away. Every day was a new adventure with SAS, so I'm just now getting to this. Some of these candles are sold out, so I won't spend a lot of time on those. But I'll make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> if that interests you, stay tuned. Someone's told you today that they love you. Auntie Lizards loves you. Jesus loves you. If you're all by yourself, it's 4th of July today. Happy 4th of July. But if you are all by yourself, I hope you're having a great meal for just you. I've been alone on holidays, so I know it kind of sucks, but I always look forward to a day off, so <laughs> let's get to the candles now. I've got 10 candles here, and I'm ranking them from least favorite to best. And fortunately, my number 10 candle, I hate to disappoint everybody, but it was peanut butter and jelly. I just can't smell this candle, and it's funny, my husband, I had this going, and um, I asked him what candle it is, or what scent he thought it was, and normally he's just off the wall, you know, I'll have blueberry going, and he'll go with chocolate, you know, it's like, <laughs> it, it, it's like talking to the wall sometimes, but that's, that's my baby, and I love him very much, but anyways, peanut butter and jelly. It, I asked him what he thought about it, what candle was burning. I think I had it to the side. And he looked straight at me and he said, peanut butter and jelly. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> so he could smell it. He said, well, maybe I am eat peanut butter and jelly all the time. So, but I think I was disappointed. I was really hoping to get more of that jelly, of that raspberry jelly. But that's what I was hoping to get with the peanut butter mixture. Unfortunately, I don't get anything. I don't get peanut butter and I don't get... It, it's better on cold than it is burning. I just don't get a lot. If I burned it and it's right next to me, I get a whiff of it, but it's, it's very faint and it's gone. So I don't recommend this one. I hope they improve the formula. And jelly is still available. And coming at number nine was kind of a disappointment that men as well was cookie cream pudding. Now I looked at the reviews on this on the website and a lot of people seem to like it, but it, if I burned it in the smaller room, I, oh, see, you picking it up now. I pick up a little bit of chocolate there. I don't, I just don't pick up the chocolate. I do pick up uh, like a creamy pudding set, but this is just not one of my favorites. And, and Annie Lister's is more of those deep, dark coffee chocolates. So it could just be me on that. I haven't looked at anybody else's review, so I'm interested to see what others has to say about that. I don't want to watch anybody else's reviews until I'm done, so it's typically how But I this do. one was still available as well. All right, coming in at number seven is just a gorgeous jar. It's Aloha Beach. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this candle. It's a very fruity, tropical scent. I pick up a little bit, I pick up the grapefruit in it. Okay, well, that's typical. It's funny what you find on the ground. I found my eyelash, put her on her. And my, ash, my lashes, I look like Tammy Faye Baker. I love the aquarium on that. This is mango slices, uh, pineapple water, pink hibiscus, and golden berries. I do like a hibiscus scent, so... This is very nice. I do recommend it, especially if those scents that you gravitate towards. This is a lovely candle, but unfortunately, this one is sold out. Coming in at number six is Everything Bagel. <laughs> and of course, this has the... Uh, the onions and garlic uh, with the with the dough note to it. 
So this one is a fun candle. This is for collectors like me. Gotta have this in my candle or in my collection. I hope that they come out with a pizza candle. I didn't get that one before, but I've heard about it. So I want a pizza candle. He'd be a repurchase for me. No, I'm, this is a one and done. And he's still available. Coming in at number five is Key Lime. He is sold out, unfortunately. Uh, he is a nice one. Um, comparing him to Key Lime Cake Pop, I think I prefer this one. Or Key Lime Lemon Orange and Sugar. And maybe it's the orange in here that I like a little better. I'm, I'm the orange lover. And unfortunately, I don't really even have an orange candle. I'm going to have to fix that. And then, oh no, I think I've messed up my numbering. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, yeah, yeah, okay. This candle's next. How about that? Cherry Blossom. <laughs> I'll catch us up on the next one. Um, I really enjoyed this candle. I'm not much for florals. But this one got me, and my husband got it as well. I'm like, I asked him what he thought of it, and he said he smells like spring. And when I told him what it was, was cherry blossom, he's like, yeah, get that. Blossom, fresh pear, lush violet, gentle powder, bright florals, and cedar wood. See, he always, anything in there that's cedar wood, he likes that. And the jar is just gorgeous, and when it's lit up, it's beautiful. So, unfortunately, though, that's another sold-out candle. So, actually, that was number, we are down to four. Okay, I'll just start there. <laughs> Coming in number four. Four, which will always be near and dear to my heart. It's the one that you guys made me get. I bought it since you recommended, which is Vanilla Sand. I have burned it quite a lot. I do absolutely love this candle, and I will get another one. I hope they come out with a little bit better packaging on it. Now, one thing I've noticed since I've had this candle, and I'll come in up in my next uh, haul, was the brown sugar sands. Whatever that sand note is, I think I really am attracted to. So this is a, a little out of my gourmet uh, world, but I absolutely love it. It's a great reset candle. So like if you burn something like real heavy, reset and then go with the next the notes are vanilla sands, lotus flower, sandalwood, and cream. So yes. I appreciate y'all leaving a comment and helping help a girl out. So I'm very happy with that. Thank you guys. And then we are coming in at number three. Now I like this candle. My husband though, however, it was too much for him. That first burn would have filled a mini mansion. No problem. The whole thing. <laughs> this is a uh, passion fruit. So passion fruit. His notes are passion fruit, grapefruit, lime, strawberry, and sugar. I am assuming I primarily get the passion fruit, <laughs> although I have never smelled a pa passion fruit um, in person. So I've never bought one. I need to do that. So I'll be more educated when it comes to these fruity candles i need to be learned out there <laughs> but this is a candle i absolutely love and it'll, it'll it'll certainly fill your own house i my house is small so it filled it right quite nicely <laughs> coming in the final two annie lizards just loves her coffee candles but i don't always drink coffee might have it twice a year I love my cappuccinos so at the at the gas station of all places. That's what I prefer. And I'll go in there and make some wild concoctions. I'll put like vanilla or French vanilla, and then I'll put the French vanilla fat free, and then and the almond amaretto. If you can ever get that one, oh my gosh, that one doesn't need nothing else. But anyways, back to candles. Okay, that's all I'm going to ramble. Coffee. His notes are roasting coffee beans, warm molten mocha, hazelnuts, and milk. And this is such, 
again, then let's see their jar. This is number two. He is still available. And he has just such a nice uh, coffee, creamy scent to him. It's a very good throw, I would say, between uh, seven and eight. But that's seven to eight in Annie Lister's house. <laughs> the rooms are small in here. They're probably about 10 by 12. And then probably about 250 square feet is the, one of the other ones that I've been burning it in lately. So uh, number one is Irish Cream Swirl. I love, love, love this candle. <laughs> it's just... It, where turkey is just missing what this one does. This one just has a deeper note to it. And let's find out what that is. And Irish cream is still available. I think this is a great candle. I'm surprised this one's not sold out. Um, espresso. Well, there you go. So this is in Annie Lister's note that she loves. Uh, espresso, cream spice, vanilla, coffee bean, cream, cocoa, and butter. I don't get no butter in it, but maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what I like in it. <laughs> but I highly recommend this candle and his throw probably six, seven, eight, somewhere in there. So, that's going to conclude my haul for today. I appreciate you if you're still here taking the time to watch me. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Or if you're in the future, I hope you have a bright and sunny day. Until next time, y'all be out there and you be good to each other. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. When you come back real soon, you don't ever...